Welcome back everybody, it's Calvin, and in this episode I take on the Kansas City Chiefs. They are my one of my division rivals, and so this game is relatively important for me to win because it could decide where I stand in the playoffs. Um, whether I get a wild card round or whether I get a first round by, I have to beat my division rivals at least once, I think. Mm, I'd have to look into the standings a little bit more, but I think I have to beat the Chiefs and the Broncos. Well, the Broncos I already did. I have to beat everybody in my division at least once. Uh, and next week it looks like I take on the ramp, so that should be an easy game, I think. So, um, I gotta say my offense um, struggled a lot in this game. Uh, Boyd, yeah, just can't hit the broad side of a barn there. Not even close to who we were trying to throw it to. Uh, just kicked field goal. It's not really anything special. Um, <laughs> my defense. Something was up with my defense there. Um, that being a rare instance, you can tell Jamal Charles was 3 for 30. Um, I cut out his long run because I didn't like looking at it. The comes out the but yeah, he ran. He ran all over me. It was just friggin' embarrassing. Um, I hold him to a field goal here, though. So all is well in the world for a little bit. Um, I take over in the next round. I don't even know why I did this. I think I just did it because I saw the green. And yeah, I threw it in the double coverage. I was expecting the safety to. You know, come out. That just didn't happen. And I throw the interception. Yeah. And Jamal Charles. Motherfucker. Right in. He's too so fast. I don't have anybody on my defense that can keep up with him. Um, and this is the one time in my. Yeah, this is, I think, the first time the screen has actually worked in my game. Well, in my season so far. And, yeah. Yeah, it was Barry again. It was killing me. No, it was Gaines this time. But, um, yeah, Barry, I think he pulls off two interceptions. And I... I just stopped guessing when I thought it was a run because that kept happening to me. And I did this because my offense just wasn't moving right. I wanted to create a mismatch. And that's the way to do it because the computer just won't adjust to it. But my drive still sold out and they get the ball back. So, Mac actually gets some a sack, which stalls everything out for them. And I just don't want to give up, so I throw. I actually convert the fourth down. I don't think I've used my punter in a couple games, which is actually kind of scary because if I do screw up on one of those plays, I'm, my defense definitely wouldn't have stopped anybody. Today. I just wanted to keep it out of the defense. You know, I wanted to keep the pressure off the defense. They weren't having their A game. You can't. My defense can't always have great games. This game, no, yeah, they definitely didn't have a great game. Um, but, you know, before the half, I'm trying to close the gap a little bit. And. Boyd. Oh, so close yet, so far away. Boyd almost gets it there. He was a better runner than the pass of this game. That's for sure. I, mean, I contemplated putting Josh Freeman in at one point. He was getting so bad. And yeah, I accelerated the clock there to try. You know, we give him less time. Um, I don't remember what happens here. Oh yeah, Jamal Charles just gets hammered. 
And we pick up the ball and bring it back. We actually tie the game up before the half. I thought that was a different play. Alrighty. But, yeah, this is not going to And then they do the same thing to me. Pretty much, except they don't get... <laughs> They don't get wide open, um, but you know this is uh, same drive after recover recovering the fumble and my uh, my cornerback's not even close to covering him. Um, so I gotta close the gap a little bit. Has to get done. And I believe that is Jeremy Macklin. After I swapped him over to the third slot, he beats his coverage. And um, Moore is hurt now. So I don't have really anybody on the other side to, you know, the match the runs down and actually drives quarterbacks in the more for a sack. Works out great for me. Um, but anyway, he does come back into the game for a little bit. But anyway, we'll have to go on without him for a little bit. He does come back in a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, it's only a medium chance that he gets hurt again. So, and we kind of need him. I don't, I don't know who the backup is, but I don't think we ever really use him. And Boyd throws another interception. Uh, I can't win. Um, yeah. I want, I don't know what I wanted to do on that one. I think I thought about finally switching Boyd out for Freeman, but, oh well. Uh, yeah, and Boyd's confidence is going to be in a total after this game. And I believe that is more. He actually came back from his injury and got an interception. That nah, can't complain about that one. Boyd standing back in the and shotgun, Boyd sees Selleck wide open in the end zone. I don't even know who was covering him. Uh, what was this? Yeah. I try to run it. Really? Um, oh, it's the end of the game. Jeez. Um, yeah, so 31 to 27 is how it ends. I got my win over the Chiefs, which is what I needed. Alex Smith didn't throw for anything, but that didn't really matter because Jamal Charles just ruined my day. Um, Boyd threw four interceptions, so his confidence is going to be in the toilet. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamal Charles had three 20 plus yard runs. Averaged 14 per rush. Had 239 yards. It's pretty darn close to a record if it's not. Um, Macklin and Ellington both had receiving touchdowns. I didn't throw the ball around a whole lot because I didn't want to throw against the Chiefs. Um, cornerbacks they just they made life miserable for me so I don't even know why I looked at blocking um, my defense wasn't very high in the tackle list yet again they never are um, Eric Berry had two interceptions not really surprised um, yeah I was surprised to see the little injury symbol next to say more but um, I checked the injury report after the game. He's fine. I don't know why they kept it next to his name. But in other news, because this is pretty much over, I did pre-order Madden 16, and I'm excited for it to come out in four months. And hopefully I have a couple seasons under my belt here, and then I will rebuild another franchise on Madden 16. What franchise do you guys think I should rebuild? Uh, leave a comment in below to tell me what you think. I'll see you guys later. Like, subscribe, and comment.